Well, Ilaku is usually sort of a courtyard, but it's also a community where generations are gathered around a plot of land. In migration, we lose that. We lose the original Laku, but there's this version of it that we take with us, you know, the memories. So where there's in migration in the cold in New York and Boston, and even in the warmth of Miami, we have a kind of traveling Laku and we have to remake our communities. So I think um, it's a very powerful and timely an apt moment to have a show like this uh, with like YT because so many of our people are threatened right now in terms of whether they are even going to be able to keep their families together um, with everything that's happening with immigration. I've not seen this kind of fear since the 80s when I first came to the U.S. when, when there were immigration raids and so we have families already who are separated Um, by economic and political conditions, but now we have such a a kind of oppressive environment where people are not sure if they should even send their kids to school. Well, should they go to work because they might be, they might be raped, they might be picked up at work. Um, Will they be deported? People, even people who've been here in this country for a very long time, I've never seen such an uncertainty in the community in Miami where I am. So I think these um, cultural expressions of that, of the moment, are very, very important because it's something that that Haitian artists have always done. We've always engaged um, the political structure of the country. Our artists have always responded to what's happening around them and have been participating in that. So I think this is um, the right time for a show like this to show ne- also to show what we can offer what we offer, what we contribute to the place that we live. Because we're not just here to take, because that's the, that's the view of immigrants, that we're just here, we're taking jobs, we're taking this, we're taking handouts, which is not really the reality. We give as much as we can. We give our sweat, we give our blood, but we also are contributing something very valuable. We're contributing our, our culture, we're, com- we're, we're enlarging the texture of this country. And that Art is a beautiful way to show that, to display that without, you know, we're in the streets, but we're also, you know, protesting, but we're also in the, in the theaters. We're also, we also have a culture that is also, is becoming weaved in through our children, our grandchildren, to the culture of this country. So I think it's, it's one more way of, of showing cultural expression, but also of making our presence known to, to show what we are, what we are doing here, what we're contributing, and, and our contributions are not, we're not just here to take, we're also giving, and, and we're giving beautiful things. We're, we're working hard, we've made great sas- sacrifices to be here, but, um, and I think complicated work can show that, and, and dance and using the body and telling a story. I mean, storytelling is going to be very crucial to counter the negative storytelling that we're going to, to be seeing in the vilification of immigrants, um, especially immigrants of color, you know, who are feeling more and more like this is not the place they need to be. So I think this is one way of reinforcing all that we've contributing while, while reminding, you know, others that yes, we're, we're here, we're not going to go anywhere, we're not going to go easily, we're not going to let our people be, be taken away. And to do it through an artistic expression is, is, is also beautiful, a beautiful way of showing what we do and who we are and how we've been making our mark.